What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. So over the weekend, I went to a new store that I've known about for a while, just never got the time to go there because it's about an hour and a half away, right at 100 miles for me. It's called the Minifig Shop. Now you've seen other places called, what, Bricks and Pieces or the Brickyard, the, what, the Mini, I'm um, trying to think some of the others. Bricks and Mini Figs, all these other stores that are all independently owned. Well, this one is just outside of St. Louis in Kirkwood. And here is their card. If you guys want to check that. Um, you can see what's there, 2,500 square feet. Lots of stuff. So they've got huge bins of Lego you can sort through for pieces. You got open sets. We got tons of sealed sets, even come all the way down the wall here and then over. So yeah, they've got a lot of stuff. It, it's And it's in a really high-end area. I can't imagine the rent on that place. It's right like one block from the train station for Amtrak. Um, it's like a fairly new building. I think they've been in business right at three years. So I ended up buying a shirt while I was there mini fig shop Kirkwood so if you guys want to check that out and look yeah so I didn't get me a cool shirt I'll probably wear that pretty soon and I got a few things I didn't go overboard with it uh, kind of just really specific on a few things that I wanted I didn't really know what to expect going in there I hadn't seen that brochure and I knew they had new sets I knew they'd have old sets that are open i being the minifig shop i knew they'd have a ton of minifigs well i bought several minifigs and so did my wife she got a couple um, let's take a look and see what's just in this one and what we got here we got the new knight in this one and it comes with this horse piece that's kind of neat might be able to use that for like a christmas thing I got one of the new Nutcrackers and series one, we got Aladdin. I already have Jasmine and Jafar, so sh uh, my wife wanted the Aladdin one to go, kind of go with it. They gave us a stack of those. So I guess they have a ton of them. All right, what else is in here? Now this was the big purchase that I got, or my most expensive one. <laughs> We're going to do a separate video on this. But we got Velma Dinkley. <laughs> that is a very, very rare minifig, believe it or not. So that completes my Scooby-Doo collection. So we'll look at that one. Actually, let's just pop those together because it's not going to be a super long video i'm about done got a few other really cool things oh, looks like i got a batman one but yeah i think they just threw in a couple extras of these which that's fine i plan on trying to make them like that and taper them at some point either make some stairs or maybe angle it and build them Kind of like that, if I can do that, maybe make uh, maybe some shingles or something for a roof. I've got probably a hundred of them, so that might be an idea to just toy around with. But I did get those two. So now, for some reason, I didn't ask or didn't look. I need the robot from this minifig collection. Yeah, I've got multiples of several of the others. I think the only one I don't have a multiple of is the ship captain, the really cool little elf with the snow globe, and then the little fairy. I think I've got multiples of every other one. But for some reason, I never got the robot. I might have to feel up some packages if I see them at Walmart or Target or something and try to figure out. I think that headpiece with the studs on it and that square tile. I don't think anything else. Yeah, the only one with another square tile is the reindeer, but he's got a big square box. So that oh, that might be a little problem. 
trying to figure out which one's which. I mean, I can feel those scissors. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Ah, two other things. And I do have one other thing I have to go get because my wife already put it upstairs. <laughs> I got a Batman, seal Batman, briquettes. That's going to go on the Batman shelf. And I got a sealed Iron Man. What do you guys think about that? That's going to go on the Iron Man shelf. I know what you're thinking. Iron Man shelf, Batman shelf. Right there. So that kind of will complete those because I really don't know what else to add. But anyway, yeah. So we'll come back. Now, I need to go get my wife's little haul. Um, she got some Toy Story stuff. And yeah, I, I plan on going back there several times. I'll probably try to do some videos inside, go around, look at some of the stuff. I did a, a short and man, it was really bad on the, the shakiness of the camera. I, I don't know, it doesn't Using this iPhone 13 Pro, it doesn't do great when you hold it vertically, but that's how the shorts have to be. So I'm going to try to talk to them. There was a bunch of kids in there. It's just rummaging through like the parts, and they, they're like big sandboxes, which you can kind of see in this in the back. It's kind of like what they are, and they're just full of pieces. And five or six kids talking to each other and then just rummaging like crazy. And then you have just other people looking in the store and it, it was a Saturday. So it was middle of the day, kind of packed. It wasn't the greatest time to try to do some uh, video work, but I'm going to try to go back maybe a better time and see what we can find. Anyway, let me get that my wife's little haul from there and we'll finish this up. Okay, so you can see that's what my wife wanted. She got it. It goes from the Toy Story. Uh, I'm not sure which Toy Story movie exactly. Um, anyway, it was 20 bucks without the two minifigs. We bought the minifigs separate. One last little thing. I got my two brick heads built just kind of in the meantime while I had to run and get this other set. A couple cool uh, prints. And another thing to note, those Batman eyes are glow-in-the-dark pieces. So when I turned the lights out last night, <laughs> you could see them. It was kind of neat. I got a little gold mine here. Not bad. Okay. We'll look at these two minifigs. You can see Woody. He's got the really long legs. I think a lot of the, uh, the new Avatar sets have all those super long legs. And then a really cool buzz. Yeah, you can see the height difference. <laughs> now this came with a Woody. It came with the horse. It came with a miner. And it came with another another minifig. I've got it saved. I got a picture of it here for you guys, just so you can see. So I've put all those um, those three missing minifigs in the collection are on my uh, want list on BrickLink. So whenever I do another order, if I go through the wanted list and they have one of those, I think they're all right around $6 a piece. So another $18, $20 is what I'm going to be out to get this thing complete. She just wanted it. My dad was a uh, sheriff, elected the actual sheriff, not just a deputy, um, actual sheriff for our local county. And she wanted to get that just to kind of put this all together. So that's what we got. The minifig shop. Here's the back. I didn't show you the back of the thing. Some cool minifigs. I don't remember the price on the Red Hulk. They did have one there. I just forgot the price of it. But there's the details. Thanks for watching everyone, and we will see you in the next video.